Hey, what's up? It's me, Jose Alfredo Ra. I'm back. Okay, this is going to be an improv uh, general reading. And this is going to be for the collective. So if there's a message in here for you, it will resonate. If it doesn't, um, don't worry about it. It just means that things are right going smoothly for you. There's nothing that you need to like be aware of in this moment, in this time. Right, so this can be for any any zodiac sign, right? Oh, back like there, bottom of the deck, queen of pentacles, and the six of cups, right? Uh, connecting with that inner child energy, remembering your dreams and your passions and what you wanted to become as an adult, and you wanted to be this glorious, right? This queen of pentacles energy, someone super abundant, like that energy right there. All right, let's see what we have here. Show me the messages. Show me um, anything that is going to provide the viewer, right? With clarity, understanding, guidance, and support in this moment, if it resonates, right? For all the zodiac signs, all the element, elements, water, fire, earth, and air, right? And... Let's get this reading. Oh, Butterfinger hands today. Okay. Wow. Okay. We have a King of Swords. We have Judgment, the World, and Justice. All upright, right? King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. I'm going to tilt this a little bit so we could get that glare out. Right? There we go. Okay. Let's get these in your view. I love it when you can see the crystals. All right. So we have someone in this divine masculine air energy. Right? Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. Or just somebody who is intelligent, someone who's structured, someone who's strategic, someone who communicates, right, the truth, somebody who communicates effectively, right, somebody who knows their personal power, somebody who's already gained clarity and insight for what their vision and what their goals are, right, judgment, because a higher calling has been, right, presented to them, that is the clarity that they gained, that they had a wake-up call, they had an awakening moment, right, a moment where, Right, you see them coming out of the coming out of the coffins, but also it's just like a moment where you release right connections, energetic connections that no longer serve you because you're able to see right through the BS and you're able to clear and cut away what doesn't serve your higher purpose here with the judgment card. And now this is telling you that the world is opening up for you right? New possibilities are opening up for you. And you have all the elements right here, right? You have, right? You have the four signs here. So you have earth, air, fire, water. You have Taurus, Leo, Gemini, and Scorpio here, right? So representing four elements as well. So a new, a new cycle, right? Or a new chapter in your life is going to manifest now because you realize there's a higher calling for you. This may very well be taking place for anyone with air sign chart energy, right? And again, you have justice, right? Look at the sword, the sword twice, there we go, right? Cutting away what doesn't serve you, restoring balance into your life, right? Having passion, right? And this is you being in your personal power, right? And this is you understanding how to make those right decisions to benefit you, to better your life and your situation. All right, there we go, right? And this is also considered a card of Libra, Libra energy. And then we start off with the air sign right here and justice. So Libra, this may very well be something um, that is being communicated to you or someone with air sign chart elements. So Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Higher calling, you've, you've had an epiphany, you've had a wake up moment with, with the judgment card, which means you decided to make those necessary changes in your life, right? <laughs> to remove things that were holding you down from and allowing yourself now to easily, right? Gravitate towards, move towards, right? New opportunities, right? You seeing that there's so many, the world is so huge and the possibilities are like 
only within the grasp of your imagination. So like you can basically do anything you want right now and you're going to be divinely supported. You have justice on your card, which means things will work out in your favor. All right. Let's get some a little information. Who show me this clarify this king of swords energy? This king of swords energy. Oof. Okay. So what I see here is the Magician, the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Tower, and the Ace of Cups. This King of Swords energy, right, is the, has the Magician popping up here. Being in that energy of Mars and Mercury, taking total control of your life, manifesting, right, what you desire to create in your world, having the passion. Again, lots of passion, lots of creativity, right? Understanding that like you see the flowers below you that you are fertile right with everything that you need with the energy that you need You're connected to source right and you're connected to nature at the same time So you're living in unison with the universe and this is why you're co-creating right and this is why you are able to step into that energy of the king of swords doesn't matter if you're male or female and you are able to right cut away what no longer serves you start thinking strategically more intelligently balancing your mind and your thoughts allowing yourself to right rise to this new understanding of you need to be the better, higher version of yourself. It is that time. The calling is there for you. Release those lower energies of connections that don't serve you so you can step into this new chapter of your life where you, again, have all four elements around you supporting you, right? And things will completely work out in your favor, again, because there is balance now restored. There is clarity with that sword. And the Queen of Wands, so this could have been you in the beginning, not feeling confident enough, strong enough, and having enough desire and patience, I mean passion, right, to manifest these things. So a tower moment came about in your life. You had a tower moment that manifested, that broke that self, um, that lack of confidence, right, that lack of creativity and passion, and divinity provided you with new a new source of emotional support and love and desire for moving forward with yourself, right? Your cup is overflowing there. Okay, what do we recognize with judgment? Okay, clarify the judgment card. So with judgment, the hermit and the page of cups, we have Virgo and Cancer making an appearance here. This is somebody wanting to communicate something to you. This is someone having some interest in you emotionally. This is somebody um, um, going into a state of solitude, like deciding to separate themselves, right, from the from society, from socializing and things like that, so they can go within, so they can work on themselves, right? Understanding that they have the inner life and the truth, right? They also have that staff there to be ready to take action, right, when the time is right. Somebody also may want to communicate something to you, but you are probably ghosting them in this moment. And this is why you were able to, like, you had a higher calling for that situation. That it was time to walk away from a situation with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that did not, that you felt like was no longer in your best interest, no longer serving you. And you had to go into that hermit mode to realize that. Clarify the world card. What is the understanding here that we get with the world card? What is the opportunity with the world card? Show us what we get with the world card. What is the benefit of the world card here? How do we move? What is... Ooh, there we go. There we go. Was that it? Was that the message for the world? Mm -hmm. No. Let's try that again. Clarify this world card, please. Flip over if you need to. Clarify this world card. The world card. There we go. Six of Pentacles. And then you see scales, scales, right? Now, also when it comes to financially, and I see this as with your emotions as well, things will be balanced. The amount of energy you give out will be reci uh, reciprocated to you, right? You're going to start receiving more. Just be mindful of this because it's your turn to receive, right? There was a point in time where you were lacking when you weren't receiving as much as you gave out and shared with everyone and everything around you in situations work-wise or relationship-wise, that's coming to an end. The balance is being restored and the source, right, 
source, spirit, however you want to see it, is saying it's time for you to start receiving more, right? It's your time. You've paid your dues. You've went through your experiences. You've gained the knowledge, right? Now it's time for you, for the world, right? To illuminate you. Let's get that right there. And we have judgment, right? We have justice. And what is with this justice card here? Find the message. Find the message to support justice. The high priestess. Because, right? You went through, you did the work. You went within us, especially with the hermit card. You trusted your intuition. You let your inner compass guide you towards this judgment, epiphany, higher calling moment. Because you trusted and you went within. Right? You intuitively, right? understood what was needed to make the change in your life. And this is why justice is on your side. There you go. High Priest is making an appearance. Very amazing energy. Such amazing energy. All right. Final call. Let's see what we have here. One, two, three. Come, guys, remember to, and ladies, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification at the bottom. And let's get a goodbye message. Let's get a supporting goodbye message for anyone who's still watching. Something to provide them with support and clarity. Message. What is the next goodbye message for them? Let's send them off with a message. The Ace of Wands, right? New passion, desire, and creativity will be manifesting in your life. You already received that Ace of Cups moment. Now it's time for you to take action, right? There you go. All right, everyone. Um, I hope these messages um, provide you some clarity and insight and some encouragement, right? You have great things coming towards you. Right? Things are working out in your favor. Continue to trust your intuition. Do the work to go within. Recognize who you are. And watch how divinity right, just blesses you with emotional fulfillment right, and new creativity and passion. That was your message for the night. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye.